Hi, my name is Falanda Thompson, and I'm class of 2016 at the Fort Valley State University. In high school, I was not the average student because I was not in the average situation. I attended three different high schools in two different states. My first high school was on the south side. I had a class at Riverdale High School. I did a whole year at Mount Zion High School. And then I moved all the way to Dallas, Texas with my mother because of her job. I knew I wanted to be a computer engineer when I was in the sixth grade. I knew I wanted to be a computer engineer even before I knew what a computer engineer did. Even when I knew what a computer engineer was capable of. Uh, I love computers. I loved taking things apart. I remember I would ask my mother when she was ready to throw away an old TV, mom, can I have that TV just so I can take it apart? And she was like, absolutely not. She probably was afraid I was gonna shock myself. She gave me a laptop when I was in high school, maybe middle school or high school, and the screen stopped working or broke on it. Maybe I broke it, I don't remember. I went and found the replacement part for the screen, took the whole thing apart put it all the way back together. My mother was absolutely livid. And I put it back in her lap and I said, mom, turn it on. And she turned it on and she saw that it worked and she never questioned me again. When I was in high school, um, I wanted to attend Georgia Tech. I wanted to attend uh, MIT. <laughs> I wanted to attend Harvard. I wanted to attend all the most um, affluent, um, most excellent technology schools that there were in the country. I don't know if people remember what Wildcat Force was, but they came to my high school, Tucker High School, when I was a, a junior, senior in high school. And they sang and they danced and they told us about all these exciting things that you could do when you get out of Port Valley. The free money, the scholarships, the the programs, the different clubs and activities, and it just sounded so exciting. But there was only one thing that really stood out to me, and it was CDEP. And CDEP, the Cooperative Developmental Energy Program, a three-year accelerated program at Fort Valley, and a two-year program at another school to obtain, to, to obtain two degrees in the engineering profession. And that just blew my mind, like, oh my God, I can get two degrees? instead of one in five years. So that was why I signed up at that moment. Coming as a freshman was exciting and terrifying all at the same time. There were moments where I felt like I could redefine myself and be this brand new, exciting person. And there were other moments where I had no idea who I was or what I was doing. <laughs> I was just trying to get through school. Um, I got pregnant twice while I was at school at Fort Valley. I had both my kids while in school. And I think one of the most amazing moments to me was to have a conversation with one of my math professors who had just gotten married and she had gotten pregnant shortly thereafter. And we had a conversation about what it was like to have kids and to raise kids and to deal with newborns and to deal with the balance of stress of work life and, and your home life and having a, a husband and a spouse. Um, and that was just one of those amazing conversations that you just don't have in a typical setting. I will um, always give credit to my spouse um, at the time, the father of my children, and the daycare centers that were fantastic with my children. And just working with different people in the community that just understood my bosses who let me bring my children to work, my professors that let me bring my children to class. Um, if it had not been for all these people who understood my potential, whatever that potential may have been at that time, had it not been for them, I would not have been successful. Everybody who knew me knew what a struggle and what a triumph it was to walk across that stage, but it wasn't an opportunity to yell or to scream or to be excited. It was an opportunity to appreciate the journey. It was an opportunity to understand that to get here was no hopscotch in the park. It was a feat of courage 
and honesty and determination to get here. And I graduated with a cum laude over 3.0. And so then I just started applying to all of these companies. I was probably 200 applications in and at least a couple months of trying. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Finally, um, I applied to the Almighty Geico, but I didn't apply for the typical the claim adjuster position. They had an internship um, in their IT department um, to support their billing operations. And I said, okay, it's an internship. I'll take it. Fine. And I got into the interview and we were talking through the questions that they were asking me. And in reality, I still didn't know the answer to every single question, but I was armed with the confidence and the ability to communicate of having worked with dozens of professionals across the campus and across various businesses. And when he walked out of that interview with me, he told me, I don't wanna give you an internship. I wanna give you a real job. Today, I am a software engineer at Microsoft. It is a dream of mine to ever have worked for a company like Microsoft, a company as big as Microsoft doing what it is I do today. I work for a machine learning a team that supports some of the products that are up and coming at Microsoft. And what I get to do every day is uncharted because I'm not told every single day what it is I should be doing. I'm told this is our goals. And then I get to decide how we get there. HBCUs exist to give people like me a space and a community to feel comfortable in not only just being ourselves and being who we are and who we want to be, we can do that anywhere, but being comfortable enough to ask questions. Schools like Fort Valley only survive because the people in the community and around it hold it up and are reminded that without Fort Valley, without HBCUs, without little hometown schools that understand you and that are committed to you, without schools like this, there are so many people like me who never would have survived, who never would have gotten the amazing four to five education and supports and preparation that I needed and that others have needed to be successful in their career. We have so many alumni who are capable of building tenfold the foundation that we have right now to support our students, our incoming, our future students. We have people who are alumni who could absolutely transform the face of Fort Valley. Whether it's giving back your time, whether it's your money, whether it's volunteering, whether it's teaching, whether it's you know providing work opportunities and internships and jobs. There are just so many opportunities uh, where you can give back. And it's just so critical that we do our best in some shape or form, whatever it looks like and power the possible, brick by brick.